All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to see if we can shoot 22 long rifle and 22 short. Here they are right here. 22 long rifle and 22 short out of a 22 Magnum revolver because there's some confusion on it. You know, a lot of people probably know this if you're educated on guns. If not, maybe, you know, and maybe I can teach you something today. So this is a Heritage Arms Rough Rider pistol and it comes with two cylinders. It comes with a 22 long rifle cylinder and what's in there now is the 22 Magnum and boy, I got to clean it up. I left it in this vehicle over winter and it's got some surface rust. So I got to clean her up. But why can't you shoot 22 long rifle and 22 short out of the same cylinder, right? They're all 22. I mean, you could shoot 38 special out of a 357 Magnum revolver and you can shoot 38 short out of it. If you have a 327 revolver, man, you can shoot 327 Federal Magnum, 32 H&R Magnum, 32 long, 32 short, 32 whatever, 32 auto. You could shoot like five cartridges out of that of differing length. So can you shoot it out of, can you shoot 22 long rifle and 22 short out of this revolver that has the 22 Magnum cylinder installed? Why do they give you two cylinders? And if you accidentally happen to have a 22 Magnum cylinder in the revolver, you don't pay attention, you load it and you shoot it, will it damage anything? Well, the answer to that is no, because they're very low uh, power cartridges. At least the 22 long rifle and 22 short are very low pressure, I should say. 22 Magnum's higher pressure, but it's still, it's still a 22 Magnum. So we're gonna find out why. I already know the answer, and we're gonna find out if you can, and why they give you two different cylinders, and um, what happens when you shoot 22 Magnum, I mean 22 long rifle and 22 short out of this 22 Magnum revolver. Now, we're gonna load it. Here's the 22 Magnum. This is an arms core 40 grain 22 Magnum. We're gonna put that in the cylinder, all right? Now we're gonna put, next we're gonna put a 22 long rifle in the cylinder, and then we're gonna put the little 22 short in there. All right, so the first one to come up will be the 22 Magnum. All right, now we're gonna just shoot it down there. This is what is supposed to be shot out of it. So we're just gonna see if it shoots, Okay, it shoots, and that's pretty powerful, right? So let's try 22 long rifle. So let me put it in there. It's 22 long rifle. Wow, that sounded kind of weak for a 22, right? 22 short. That sounded even weaker. But as you can see, they all fired, and they didn't blow up in the gun, and I'm not injured or whatever. But let's take them out, and let's see what the cases look like here. Okay, I got all three cases. Now, this is why technically you're not supposed to shoot 22 long rifle, 22 short out of a 22 Magnum cylinder. It is possible in an emergency situation. I don't know why you would need a 22 revolver in an emergency situation, but if you don't have any 22 Magnum and you're like, oh crap, the only gun I have is the Heritage Rough Rider and I lost the long rifle cylinder and now I got a fight off the aliens and stuff with it. You can use 22 long rifle or 22 short, but probably can't see it here. Maybe if I had a, 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 a loaded cartridge. 22 Magnum, not only is it longer, but it's also tapered. Okay, so the case is a little bit longer and fatter than 22 long rifle. And you're gonna see what happens to the brass. Can you see, I don't know if the camera's picking it up there, but it is noticeably See right there? It's noticeably bulged at the bottom right there. Okay? Because it expanded to the diameter of the chamber and the base of Winchester, 22 Winchester Magnum is wider than the base of 22 long rifle. 22 long rifle, and it did the same thing with 22 short. This looks kind of like a little teacup. See it? See how it widened it and made it a little fatty. Let's see if I could get multiple angles on it there. So it did, it did widen the, it, it stretched the cases. Okay. 
let's see on this one if you can get, especially on the base of the toy. There you go. You probably, probably see that right, right there. It stretched the, the base out. So that's why they give you two cylinders because 22 long rifle is a straight walled cartridge and 22 short is a straight walled cartridge. When 22 Winchester Magnum is a tapered cartridge and the base is fatter. Now, is it dangerous? No. Is it, will you have a catastrophic failure and blow the gun up in your hand? No, no. Now, if, it, if this was something like a situation where it was like 500 Magnum and you're going to shoot, no, I wouldn't do that. That's probably uh, not great. Although you are shooting the, the less power. As long as you shoot the, the uh, cartridge that's lower power, in the gun, you probably won't hurt it. But that's why they give you, that's solely why they give you that is because you will stretch the crap out of the, out of the brass for 22 long rifle and 22 short. And uh, it, it's not dangerous. Again, like I said, it's really low pressure. So you're not, you, and as you can hear, I think you lose a lot of velocity when you shoot 22 long rifle and 22 short out of 22 Magnum cylinder. Uh, because it's expanding so much and it's bleeding off so much of the gas and it's also bleeding off gas naturally between the cylinder gap, between the forcing cone and the cylinder that's called a cylinder gap. So in revolvers, you naturally bleed off gas and energy right there anyway. But then on top of that, to have such a long cylinder and it's got to expand the case farther than it's used to, you're bleeding off a lot of energy and gas. So it's not really coming out uh as fast as it should, but it's not dangerous. So hope that answers the question for some people that were like, oh, why can't you just shoot 22 long rifle out of 22 mega? Technically can, it's not as efficient and it's not super safe, but it's not super dangerous either. I mean, so there it is. Thanks for watching guys. And we will see you next time.